if a patient's newly diagnosed, you've got to do that comprehensive testing with all these biomarkers to really understand the tumor. Depending on what's found there, repeat testing might be useful in the future. So with some of the targeted therapies, when they stop working, sometimes they stop working because of other mutations and we can retest and look for those and that can help us know which treatment to go with next. But other times that repeat testing isn't as important and so that'll be an important question to talk to about your physician. Now, if you've ended up started on treatment with chemotherapy or maybe chemotherapy and immune therapy and the testing results weren't back and then they come back later, what do you do? Depends on how you're doing. If the treatment seems to be working and it's tolerated, you have that new information about say maybe EGFR ALK and at some point in the future when the treatment chemo that you're on stops working then you can switch to those targeted therapies. Other people sometimes switch right away but it just really depends on how you're doing. If you're tolerating the treatment well and it's working there's no reason to switch immediately. Um, but understanding what's going on with the tumor at some point is really critical. So if the Comprehensive testing, the comprehensive biomarker testing wasn't done at first diagnosis. You'll want to get it at some point, perhaps at the time that that initial therapy has stopped working.